this other YouTube stream. Uh, oh, we go. Here we go. Two minutes. Woo! It's gonna start. It's gonna start. Uh, so here we go. Uh, hopefully, if if oh, there we go. If we get turn off airplane, <laughs> they're actually they're using like an iPad or an iPhone to do this thing. Isn't that crazy? Ah, uh, that's funny. <laughs> Okay, here we go, guys. Uh, if it, if you guys hear any echo while this is happening, let me know right away so I can turn off my audio. Uh, I don't know where the echo is coming from. It's, it's kind of confusing or whatever, but uh, let's see. Come on, Tesla. What's the truck? Are we going to... Yeah, I'm using uh, OBS. Uh, four drops, 27% <laughs> after hours. You know, you never know. It's crazy. Something is going to happen in the markets, but who cares? I don't care about the markets. Uh, that's all just gambling anyways, in my point of view anyways. Um, I shouldn't think like that. I should probably drop some money. Uh, for, to, but nah, that's gambling. I, I don't want to make money gambling. I want to make money making the world better. I am that I'm, I'm still young. And uh, what's the thing when, when young people are... Uh, idealistic idealistic right i'm still not so old that i don't hey did the thing did the time stop what the hell's going on here it sure did it's about 113 okay okay so there we go there's the iphone thing <laughs> okay 24 seconds 21 i i think these guys are less prepared than me <laughs> when it comes to this thing but uh i don't care right it's not about look at that <laughs> <He just got up. laughs> did you guys see that they just got a message from snapchat they're totally using a uh am i watching the right one yes 47 please stand by <laughs> that's so funny that's so crazy I, th I think their equipment might be on par with mine here. Uh, <laughs> although I'm not using an, a phone, I'm using a computer, right? It, it's, a, it's a MacBook, so it's not really like a regular one or whatever. Uh, which truck do you prefer? So right now, uh, here's the thing. I, right now, I like them all. I like the Bollinger. I like the Rivian. I have pre-ordered the Rivians. Uh... I don't, but I see, I don't know what Tesla is going to release, right? Um, I don't need a truck. I don't even think I want a truck, but it's just so nice. These, these things are so good. I, I do like big cars, right? So I drive a 1957 BW bus just in case you're not one of the ones that, you know, watches my video on the regular. And uh, I, I drive a minivan. It's a classic minivan. It's called BW bus. It's electric. I electrified it seven years ago. So I do like big cars. I don't like like these little cars. Although the Model 3 is kind of growing on me because it's such a cool car. Um, but I, you know, so I don't need a, a big truck and I don't need a big car, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I want them. I, I want to play with them. Um, I am becoming a car guy. I, you know, I never liked Porsches, for example, right? I thought like the 911, especially, yeah, the 911, the 912s they were ugly they're like what are those you know but now that i've converted you know uh cars and right next to them and you know we're yeah they're growing on me i'm like oh these things are pretty cool you know porsches are cool i don't like yeah it's crazy i'm becoming a, a car guy right i'm becoming i like to say i'm not a car guy but I, my life is so involved in electric cars now that how can I not be a car guy? I mean, just traditionally, I haven't been a car. But yeah, um, if anything, I think I am going to get the the Rivian ones just, just so that I can make videos and I can review them and I can do all that stuff, right? Just because I think I'm really early in, in the pre-order process. Of so when they start delivering, you know, hopefully by that time, I don't know, it's a new company. Maybe they'll look at my channel and then, you know, Maybe they'll deliver one to me quick, and then I can get in front of, you know, a lot of people. Like, like I'd say, like, just because I have 300,000 
subscribers on a YouTube channel doesn't mean that I have connections that I have, you know, an end with any of these, even Tesla, right? I mean, I've been talking about Teslas for years before it was even cool to talk about Teslas on YouTube. And, you know, I'm still not in, right? Everyone else got their tickets for this event. I'm not. I'm, you know, I'm an outsider. Uh, even though now I am an official Tesla owner, right? Uh, well, though, I'm not an official because the the Tesla on their crystals name so yeah I don't even exist to them go figure go figure how is that fair I mean whatever it doesn't matter it doesn't matter uh, <laughs> I think they're probably having oh here we go starting shut up, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you guys are so nice be no straws, I promise. Los Angeles, November 2019. The skies are polluted. The world is addicted to oil. But we're here to offer a solution. The Cybertruck. The number one mode of transport for a cyber girl. The greatest evolution in vehicular fashion and function. I now present to you, my creator. Welcome to the Cybertruck Unveil. I love you guys too. I love you guys too. Hey. Uh, trucks have been the same for a very long time. Over for, like 100 years, trucks have been basically the same. We want to try something different. Let's show you what trucks have, you, you see trucks all the time, but as a reminder, what do they look like? Yeah, so. <laughs> so sorry, to, this is a trial. This is a trial. Please bear with us. 
So it's actually hard to tell. It's hard to tell which uh, which is which, really. Um, I would, took the brands off. We took the brands off, but uh, it's hard to tell which is which is which with the brands off. They'll they'll pretty much look the same. We need something different, and we, and we need we need sustainable energy now. If we, if we don't, if we don't have a pickup truck, we can't solve it. Uh, the th number one selling truck, a vehicle in America, top three uh, selling vehicles in America are pickup trucks. We have to, if to solve sustainable energy, we have to have a pickup truck. So I present to you the cyber truck. Doesn't look like anything else. <laughs> so we'll start off with the size, the dimensions, and the inspiration. So the, the functionality I'm going to describe is within a space that is less than the most po popular pickup truck in the United States, the F-150. So we didn't cheat in either width, height, or length. And we're able to achieve much greater capability in the same, same dimensions, same weight. Yeah. The, part of this is it, it, the, the fundamental design change. Uh, we're, we moved the mass to the outside. We created an exoskeleton. So normally, the way that a truck is designed you have a body on frame, you have a bed on frame, and the, the, the body and the bed don't do anything useful. They're, they're carried like cargo, like a sack of potatoes. It, it was the way that aircraft used to be designed, the, it, when they had biplanes, basically. The, the key to creating an effective monoplane was a stressed skin design. You, you move the stress to the outside skin allows you to do things that you can't do with a body on frame. So we're able to make the, the skin out of uh, thick, ultra-hard stainless steel. It's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you just how hard. So <laughs> Franz, Franz has a sledgehammer. Uh, yeah, don't hold back. Okay. Yeah. It's a regular truck door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hit, hit it a couple times. You want to hit it again? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Now I 
at the Cybertruck. Same thing. Hit it, hit it harder. Yeah. <laughs> Wind, I really wind up and nail it. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, pretty nice. strong. Very strong. <laughs> so if you think about like, like a truck, you want, to, you want a truck that's tough? You want a truck that's really tough, not fake tough? <laughs> you want a truck you can take a sledgehammer to? Truck that won't scratch, doesn't bend. What else can we do with this truck? What if we, what if we shot it? Let's, let's, let's shoot it. Got OSHA. I mean, come on. <laughs> So the, the, that's a nine millimeter bullet shot at the door. Shoot it. <laughs> We're in California, unfortunately. <laughs> but the nine millimeter, it's, it, is, it is literally bulletproof to a nine millimeter uh, handgun. That's how strong the skin is. So it's, it's, it's ultra hard, cold rolled, a stainless steel alloy that we've developed. We're gonna be using the same alloy in, in the Starship rocket and in the Cybertruck. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> so on the, on the right, that's like, no, normal tr truck doors are like, might as well be made of tissue paper. That, that's the, the, it looks like a paintball, very different. So, you know, when you say something's built tough, that's what we mean. What, what about the glass? Love Seems like a vulnerability. <laughs> yeah, we have a tra transparent metal glass. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, let's, 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 let's show some of the tests. Let's, uh, what can we do with this? <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's show the glass demo. There you go. So f first, first, this is regular glass. This is like normal glass, car glass. We want to show you what happens with normal car glass. Shatters immediately with a, a little ball. Now I'll show you Tesla armor glass. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. But it's, 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 it's kind of a small bowl though. It's, it's maybe like do it at a bigger height with a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's still, still there, I guess. Yeah, not bad. My bigger bowl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Franz, could you try to break this glass, please? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Oh, my fucking God. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. 
<laughs> Should we try the board? <laughs> Sorry? Yeah. It didn't go through. That's so that's a, that's a plus side. Let's try the right. Okay. Try that one, really? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Oh, <laughs> man. It didn't go through. <laughs> All right. <laughs> eh, not bad. The room for improvement. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. So, yeah. Uh, we, we, we actually throw everything. We threw wrenches. Uh, we threw everything. We even literally threw the kitchen sink at the at the, the, the glass, and it didn't break. For some weird reason, it broke. Now I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just fix it in post. <laughs> so, in addition, the car has an adaptive uh, air suspension. It's literally built. Yeah, adaptive air suspension. So. This will come standard on all the cars. I think this is actually a very important uh, design element um, because if you have a, a if, 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 every, if every truck has the ability to adjust the ride height, so you can go very low or very high, so you can be efficient on the highway and you can, you can also go off-roading, um, it's going to have uh, the highest clearance of any, any production truck. So we're going to have a, 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 about a 16-inch clearance. Um, and uh, you can adjust this on the fly. So it's adaptive damping and, and adaptive uh, ride, ride height. These, these are actually extremely important for a truck. Because trucks, when you only drive them, they're either too cushy or they're, they're too hard. Um, you need it to be able to adjust dynamically depending upon what the load is. If you've got a lot of people on board, if you've got a full bed in the, in the back, it's got to adjust accordingly. So, yeah. Um, let's talk, talk about the, uh, we call it the Volt, Cybertruck Volt. So, let's see. Yeah. Let's look at, I should, let's demo this active, so yeah. So. The rear is 100 cubic feet, six and a half foot uh, length, bed length, uh, up to 3,500 pounds of payload. Yeah. And it can tow. What about a real world, real world test? Like, let's let's uh, actually have a tug of war here with an F-150. Yeah. So you can see, you know, we're see, see which one can pull which. Let's let's uh, let's do the tug of war video. Pull. I mean, yeah, but it was uphill. So let's see, on road the performance. Wow. <laughs> now let's see the. How does this uh, compare to uh, a Porsche 911? Okay, we're gonna give the Porsche a little bit of a head start. Yeah, this is a this is a current current edition Porsche. That this, and this is the actual truck. That this is not CGI. <laughs> In terms of off-road performance, it's gonna have the best uh, angular approach angle. Best clearance heights, best departure angle. For people that are really uh, going off-road, this is going to be great. You could basically do the Baja Rally in this thing. You know, three ranges. So, yeah. So obviously they'll have access to all the superchargers, uh, be capable of uh, more than 250 kilowatts. We'll reveal the actual number later. 
uh, and uh, it has onboard outlets for 110 and, 100 and 220 volts. So you don't need a generator. Yeah. The, the, the truck literally is your generator. Um, and as a little plus, because it's got an air suspension, we can tap off the air suspension so you have a, a, a pneumatic source. So you have an, a, a, yeah. yeah. You, onboard air compressor. Of course, it will come with autopilot standard. Yeah. So the, there are three versions. And but it's gonna. So that, that's the price without any incentives. That's just like the price without any incentives. Um, but the, the actual economics are even better than that uh, because the cost of electricity is much less than the cost of gasoline. So when you look at the actual cost of ownership here, uh, it's, it's, you know, you, you're paying uh, much less for electricity than you are for, for gasoline. You're paying much less for maintenance. There's no oil changes, no smog checks, no nothing, none of that stuff. Uh, so your maintenance is low, your cost of operations is low, um, and so it's actually uh, comparable to a, a truck, a, a gasoline truck that's ten to fifteen thousand dollars less. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah, so you can order now if you would like. <laughs> Tesla.com slash Cybertruck. <laughs> oh, 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 I should say also, we're going to be offering rides in this all night. Yeah, yeah don't mind the glass. <laughs> so, anyway, th thank you guys for coming. Uh, and uh, which, I think it's going to be a great, great party, and you'll love riding around this thing. It's great. All right, thank you. Oh, wait. We have. Uh, should we do the. Oh, 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 this, oh yeah. The, we, we, made an, uh, we also made an ATV. So. Bring it out. So you can see the, the truck. This is what I mean by the adaptive air suspension. Yeah, nice work, by the way. Um, so the adaptive air suspension, you can drop real low, and you go high on the other side. We call this load mode. So you've got load mode, you've got a built-in ramp. So you can take an ATV or dirt bike, whatever you want, and load it on the back. Yes. Oh. Can, and it's, 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 current, it's, it's currently plugged in and charging. Yeah. So look at the, the car is adjusting itself. So you can go like real tight on the freeway and you can go way high off-roading. Yeah. All right. Thank you.
Oh, here we go, here we go. Sorry, sorry, guys. I, yeah, I turned it down just so that I wouldn't get that crazy echo. I don't know what to think. I, will that, will it grow on us? I'm not a, I'm not a truck guy. So I can't tell if it's just me and... It's true, it does look like the... You know, like... It, it, does, it does look like the, like... Like the DeLorean, but I guess we all fell in love with the DeLorean when we saw it on a movie, so... It's kind of weird for this... We have to wait till this is in a movie and then we have this emotional connection to it or whatever. Hey, no, 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 no. No crying, boy. So... Are you kidding me? One, two, three. Can you guys hear me now? One, two, three. It seems like I can't turn on my microphone. No sound. Yes, no sound. It's over. How long? By the Tesla truck. No, it seems like I am going to be enjoying my Rivian truck. <laughs> because I don't know. I don't know what to think. I mean, uh... Yeah, and by the way, and how do you pre-order? I mean, like, I want to check out what the things are. It didn't... Hey! No! No, 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 no. Come on. Get away. Um, no sound. I Really? Still no sound? I don't know what to think here. I don't know. How are we not getting sound? Hmm. Let me see. Get out of here. Uh, transition... Okay, main cam. I guess I'm going to put it on the main cam. Okay, so here we go. Maybe I can get some sound this way because I couldn't turn on the sound over there. Um, yeah, guys, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that as ugly as I think it is? Or is it, uh, you know, or is it, uh, or is it just me? And how come I can't load it? Didn't he, did he say there was going to be a Tesla.com? Is it maybe 4 slash Cybertruck? Let's see, Cyber Truck. Oh, there we go, there we go. Let me see, let me load it up. Although, I don't know how to get my sound over there to work. Let's see, maybe free roll, right? Transition. One, two, three. One, two, three, can you guys hear me? Is there sound coming out? Sounds fine. Why are people putting that it's, there's no sound? Okay, I can hear it. Let's see here. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's load up this, this thing all the way up. Okay, so, so we can hear. I can hear. I don't know why people were saying that. Pre-order now. Let's check it out. Let's go here. Okay. So 39, single motor rear wheel drive starts at 39900 I like the price. I mean, that's a cool thing. The price. That's about the only thing that I like about this thing. <laughs> is it uh then there's the dual motor all wheel drive oh so that means yeah so two motors right there we go 49900 so 50000 dollars and then the tri motor all wheel drive 699 9, right so 70000 dollars self driving another 7000 dollars due today 100 dollars i mean yeah, he's making it really easy. Uh, so, it's weird. 250 plus miles of range. EPA estimation. It can handle 7,500 pounds. Towing capacity. 0 to 60 in 6.5 seconds. You know, that's all cool. Except that I think what he's missing is that truck people don't care about 0 to 60 times, right? They, they, they care more about the towing capacity and... So I don't know. I mean, this is this truck for a truck people or is this tr truck for us non-truck people that are electric fans or Tesla fans? I don't know. I mean, obviously nothing is the one thing only, right? But uh, yeah, that's weird. I mean, it's it's self-driving, so it's gonna be the only truck that is gonna be self-driving, and 
Um, wait, so can you, so if you get to the 39, and then you get the self-driving, what happens if you put the thing, select it? Uh, let's see, buy now. Let's, oh, come on, no, I don't want to do the thing. So the cheapest full drive car that you can get is, um, wait, 30, so 40,000 plus seven, right? So 47,000, so about $50,000 essentially. I mean, I don't know. It's, uh, I think the price is, is right. I think the presentation was terrible. Uh, <laughs> he definitely had a Steve Jobs moment. Uh, hopefully he doesn't go and fires the whole team of people. <laughs> because they didn't, uh, they didn't, they gave them the hard balls instead of the soft tennis balls. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a, such a weird thing. I, uh, yeah, I've never seen a, a, such a fail like that on, uh, on, up on stage. I think it's weird. I don't know. I, I think it's too, too futuristic. I think it's too weird. I don't think we're ready to drive that thing yet or to even go for it but i uh, what do i know right maybe maybe not maybe um <laughs> i'm leaving to go cry <laughs> with the broken ego <laughs> it, it, cringeworthy yes i think so i think it's gonna be in the news maybe 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 it's gonna be good because it's gonna be all over the internet but it would have been all over the internet if it was an awesome truck that didn't that the windows didn't break. Um, how do I just order the ATV? There you go. Uh, I'm a truck guy. I like the drag race times. Okay, so maybe yeah, just because you're in a in a truck doesn't mean that you you know don't want to drag race, right? Um, <laughs> I don't like the windows. Uh, yeah, it's a prank. No, I think it's not a prank. I think it's it's out there already. I think I mean you can you can pre-order it. You can just go to the thing and then pre-order it there. Keep in mind they're selling it. What? So you don't buy it? Not what? Keep in mind they are selling it so we can buy it or not. I mean yeah, that's true. Um. <laughs> This kind of things. I, I just, I'm um, DeLorean truck. DeLorean truck, Back to the Future. Oh, they did have a DeLorean there, right? The Back to the Future DeLorean. I think, I think the, the thing that is missing is where we fall in love with it because we see it in a movie, I, you know? He should have, you know, here's would have been the perfect thing. You know, the next James Bond, you know, movie comes out and, and then that truck is there, right? They build it, they don't announce it, then it comes out in the movie and then everybody's like, whoa, what's that truck or whatever, you know? And then he announces it or whatever. That would have been the thing because I think even as ugly as it is, have we seen it, right? Had we not, yeah, had, had he not created this buzz around it, you know? And then all our expectations were, like, crazy. I mean, I don't know. He did warn us that it was not going to be, you know, like any other truck out there. But I didn't think it was good. I wasn't going to not like it so much as this. What do you guys think? Will that thing grow on you? Or, by the way, is anyone here that loves it? Anybody in the, uh, how many of us are watching this thing and listening to me? 6,000. Oh, my God. There's 6,000 of you guys watching me. Any of you watching this, are, are you guys, anybody out there love it? Short Tesla tomorrow, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, uh, there we go. Go get it. Uh, Rivian said they would have auto drive. <laughs> Tesla, <laughs> epic fail. I don't know if it's epic fail. There we go. Go get I gotta get rid of the dogs because they were they were bugging me too much. Love it. Stop calling it a truck. <laughs> Dope, nope, nope, yes. Okay, so there's some yes. But a lot of no's. No, I do. Hell no, nope, nope, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love, okay, look at that. There's there's we're split here. There are people who love this. 
Why, like, do you guys love it because it's just Tesla, or do you guys love it because it's it's genuinely cool looking? Am I looking at this thing wrong? Is that thing cool, or is, or is that thing just ugly? What? Up? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> look at Rivian, they look at this, uh, just can't, okay, let's see here, no, yes, just BS everything here, <laughs> why would you pay 72 for Rivian with 200 plus miles, because it's a truck, and it's, it looks cool, and you can use it, and it's, the, I mean, I guess this thing is going to be real, I think the only thing that this thing is lacking, by the way, I think the price is great. I think the performance is going to be great. Why wouldn't it be? It's Tesla. They have the they have the pedigree. They have the technology to make this that real and cool and whatever useful and all that stuff, right? It's the only thing is the styling. Am I wrong here? It's the only thing is the styling. It's crazy looking. It's too futuristic for for people like me. I'm like, eh, that's crazy. I don't want that thing. Now, I do love, you know, the Back to the Future car. I wanted to convert that a long time ago, right? The people beat me to it, and obviously, it's because it's a cool thing, cool car and a cool concept to do, but I would drive the DeLorean all over the place. I would be proud to drive that thing. I might one day still, you know, get one and convert it to electric. Uh, I don't know. Will one day, will I love that thing too? I'm sure that, you know, I don't know how many of you guys watching this were uh, around when the DeLorean came out. Was the DeLorean when you first saw the DeLorean? Did it did it feel like I'm feeling right now? Did did you say like what the hell is that? What what like that car is weird? What is going on here? Or did you you know love it instantly? I I mean I don't know right I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Rivian is already laughing. <laughs> uh, it's not futuristic. It's a, a 1980s futuristics. And that's a so no. Just no. I mean, I don't know. I like retro futuristic. I just... I don't know. I don't think I was ready for this. I, I did think that it was going to be crazy and out there. But I didn't... I thought I was going to be pleasantly surprised. And I'm not. I'm... I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, it's just a lot of mixed feelings in here. Like, it's not it's not a thing. You see, here we go. I'm not a fanboy. I'm not a Tesla fanboy. If they make a cool car, I'm, I'm all for it. If they don't, I'm like, ah, okay, I don't know. I don't like that, right? Um, Ru Ruben Salzer says it's different. Yeah, you got that right. It's different. But I like different. I, I drive my bus because it's different. I like... What else do I like because it's different? No, maybe not. Maybe I don't have another... Uh, man, it's weird. 1980s. It's, yeah, it's Blade Runner back in the 1980s. I mean, it is steampunk, right? That's why he said... Uh, that's why he was dressed in steampunk and everyone else was there. Um, man... Really disappointed, says Jeremy. Uh, ugly DeLorean El Camino. <laughs> Just drink them till it's pretty. <laughs> you know what? I might have to grab a bottle there and then take a second look. Here's ah, uh, that's what I did wrong. I should have I should have been drinking. Co Why am I drinking coffee? I should have been drinking tequila. It would have been great. It would have been beautiful. <laughs> Even Trump hates it. Come on. Uh, yeah, give a give a, a like on my stream. Uh, help me out here because I wasn't invited. And I was angry before this started. But now after watching the thing, I'm like, eh, I'm okay. <laughs> All right. I think you probably enjoy it more at home here. Uh, wait, by the way, is there other streams out there? Should we watch what the other people are doing? Should we... <laughs> Should we see what other youtubers reaction is because these guys are gonna be live streaming let's see what's he saying okay let's see 
That Wi-Fi went down. Oh, come on. You're dumb. Okay, hold on. Let's see here. Let me, uh, come on. Where are you, YouTube? They're just starting right now. It's like perfect timing. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what they're saying. I want to see their... Okay, these, by the way, okay. I love these guys, right? The, now you know, guys. They're my friends. I met them. You know, we collaborate. We've been on each other's videos and stuff. Um, they are total Tesla fans. I mean, it's almost like they can't... Tesla can't do no wrong. You know, um, I, I want to see their reaction. So he's not talking about it. Come on. Are you talking about it? Zach, give me your thing, man. Come on. I want to see it. I want to see your reaction. Okay, he's on. Okay, for some reason I couldn't log on my computer and I, it's playing some commercial, so I gotta wait till the commercial ends before I can do the thing. Uh, skip that. Skip it. Okay, let's watch this. Let's watch this. Break. Post. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's already there? No, 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 no. What is this? Oh, no, that's the first one. Really? Ah, oh, come on. Sorry, guys. I just... Uh, that's not the same one. Oh, there he is. He's live. Am I doing, uh... How you doing? Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right, I don't know. It's uh, I don't know if they're back or not or whatever. Oh, look at that. They have a thing. Um, I don't know what to think, man. These guys are... Uh... <laughs> Will it be cool? Oh, look. I mean, they, look, they have commercials. No way. There's Is there a commercial for the truck? The cyber truck? No way. What was that? Oh, wow. Okay, so it's all over the internet, I guess that's the thing. Um... Oh, now I'm some other video. Okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. That's crazy. Um, I don't know what to think, guys. Uh, hopefully, it's a cool car. It looks better in the daytime. Hopefully, it's amazing and you guys will buy it. Let's do the thing, just in case you guys didn't hear me, just in case my microphone is not working. But, uh, yeah, I am. I don't think Tesla stock is going to go way high uh, this time around. If you bought some, <laughs> I, hope, <laughs> I hope it goes good for you. Uh, 
That jagged window, though. Yeah, it's crazy. And apparently you can't throw rocks at it because it breaks. <laughs> uh, Elon is trolling you all. April Fool's. But it's not April. I don't know. I think, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think. I'm, uh, I'm genuinely stumped here. I don't know. If I should be, you know what? Whatever. It's not my thing. I'm not be buying. I'm. I'm not gonna be buying one of those things. I'm gonna, you know, I probably buy a Y before I buy one of those. Uh, maybe the other car that comes after that. But I don't. I don't think I'm gonna be uh, <laughs> putting the the stock going down. Everybody's been listening. <laughs> don't you drive? Uh, a fugly truck. I mean, I it's so weird. I guess this it's weird coming from a guy like me. I like mini minivans, right? I I don't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> Who likes minivans? Minivans should never be cool, except for me they are. And I mean, I'm not the only one. There's crazies out there like me uh, that love them. And in fact, I just made a video where I explain why these minivans, these little microbuses, the the BWs, are worth so much money. They're you know, I, I'm like, the, the one that I've heard that it's sold for the most is 300000 but apparently there's others that have sold for more, like four four $450,000 for these little minivans. So, I don't know. It's just not my thing, I think, right? I think it's just too new. It's me. It's me. Right? It's me. You guys, there's a lot of you guys that like it. And, uh, is that what it is? Joke. It comes in black. Bulletproof. You are buying a Rivian like me, I'm sure. Yes, I'm, <laughs> I pre-ordered both of the Rivians because I I really liked the SUVs, but I knew that it was going to be the the I didn't realize that it was going to be the one that was going to come out after. So I'm like, oh, so I'm only like I have to wait like a whole year before. And I'm like, no, I'm getting the truck, and then I'll uh, you know I'll 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 drive around, do make videos, do the stuff, rent it. I don't know. We'll figure out what to do with it. It's a t complete write-off, right? Because if it's going to be for my channel, and this is how I make money now, um, then it's a no-brainer. I should get one and use it and then get rid of it or whatever, get the new one, get the other one, and, you know, do the same thing so I can review it and stuff. Uh, I kind of missed that boat on the Teslas because I didn't have the money or the resources to buy Teslas when they came out. So I was just kind of from the outside, just looking in like, oh, you guys bought a Tesla, oh, you know, I... I like that stuff, you know, I have my own little electric car that I built myself, so I guess I'm not cool like you guys. Uh, so this time around, it's like, yeah, okay, no, I can I can buy one of these. It's a complete write-off for me, and by the way, it's by the time it comes in, you know, who knows, maybe I'm, I, you know, it's like years. All these cars are years away, other than maybe this one. Maybe, maybe Elon's going to deliver this one quickly. I don't know. <laughs> Rest in peace, Tesla. <laughs> R.I.P. Come on. No, no, no. I mean, no, 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 no. There, I mean, it's, this is nothing. This is, this is a joke. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it is a joke. It has to be because no one is going to be not safe for kids. How did Tesla get the price so low? New battery technology. Um, I don't know. Rivian is a baby truck for city people. It is, it is. But there's more of us city people that, well, I don't know, maybe not. But, uh, you know, city people have more money, so I bet you that's why Rivian's making that, because they're like, okay, do we want the rancher or do we want the, the, the rich, you know, fancy fedora-type guy in the city that wants to be cool and have a, a truck, right? Um, but is this this one is the same thing? There, I don't see no rancher in Texas buying this thing. Do you genuinely see that? You think some guy that like you know F one fifty, you know, or, or or whatever, or the other truck, whatever the Chevy Silverado, or, you know what I mean? Like, you, you really think they're gonna be like, oh my god, I'm getting rid of this one. I'm buying the Cyber. That's, no, that's not gonna happen. That's not for them. They're gonna be laughing their heads off. They're gonna be like, what the hell is that? <laughs> Tesla getting <laughs> it's so ugly. Everybody's people. Everybody's putting that it's so ugly. I'm not the only one, it turns out. 
We're just not ready, guys. Has to be a joke with the positive only 100. Why it's so low? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, it's why it's so low. 100, 170 kilowatt hours at 17,000 in cells could be done in 7,000 truck. 40,000 can be done for half. Uh, I didn't buy 200 Chevys because they had grandpa headlights. <laughs> yeah, this one. Well, if you really think about it, this is also a grandpa's truck because, ki like, kids don't think uh, Blade Runner is cool, right? This is an 80s movie. This is like a 30 year old movie that was a futuristic film, but, you know, only us. Old people are like, oh, yeah, this movie was cool. And, the, you know, the the styling of that thing was cool. And so we're all, yeah, it's these are all grandpa's thing. <laughs> Except one is grandpa trying to be traditional. The other one's grandpa trying to be, like, futuristic or whatever. Uh, yeah, that, I don't know. <laughs> he wants to buy his stocks back. Uh, you said it, Jehu. If the core do not buy it, no one will. I don't know. Did we... Was, was it just me or did we hear a lot of people laughing when he... When it was on Dale? Were people... I mean, it wasn't like a cheer. I... I okay, earlier today I saw the truck, the semi-truck on Dailing. And, and that thing was a genuine cheer. Which is crazy, because who's going to cheer for some semi-trucks? Semi-trucks are not cool. But the semi-trucks are so cool that you're like, oh my god, like, right? I didn't hear that here. I heard, I heard confusion and laughter. It might just be worth 300000 like the BWs, because it will be rare. Uh, you never know. It might, because nobody's going to buy it, so. <laughs> Was it just me, or did you guys also heard laughter? Like you're like, like people thought maybe they were being punked. <laughs> you could just ask a coach builder to stick a pretty render body on the upcoming F-150. Mm-hmm. Tesla's going, yeah, mm-hmm. It went silent. It went dead silent. Yeah, I mean, that's true. It did. Not just that sound. I heard some laughter. I heard some like people were like, "Ah, you know." It's like, "Are you joking? Are you laughing with us?" You know that sort of thing. <laughs> Elon uncomfortable. Did it make Elon uncomfortable when everybody went dead silent? I don't know, man. Look, totally heard that. I'm not the only one that heard that. Uh, the now you know is back up. The Model S, X, and 3 all have deposits of $100 for the last couple months. Oh, so that's so that's not a weird thing. I guess you can do 100 Yeah. Why would they have deposits, though? Now, you can get those delivered really quickly. Really? Deposits? $100 deposits? That's crazy, because I, I guess now that I, maybe that's just a thing now. Not giving up my F-250 diesel, sorry. I own a, uh, what, DM Model 3? Not the Cybertruck. Silent power is cool. People who need a truck with 220 volts may not care. Stick an antler on it and done. The real reveal is tomorrow. This was a troll. <laughs> I mean, it would be cool if he shows up tomorrow. Like, By the way, guys. I don't know if you bought that, but no, this is the real truck over here. Right? I mean, it's kind of weird. Don't you think he would... They tested the balls on those glass? Like, you don't want to be like, eh, this thing is so tough. We can beat it with a hammer. Let me throw a ball here. And then both of the windows shatter, right? Like, there's no... Uh, that That is... That's a... That's a massive fail if you're not trying to troll something. No, no. I mean, it's Elon. It's Elon, though. <laughs> Elon was pissed? How do you know? Did you see that? The guy who threw that ball getting fired. Dude, that, it's so crazy because he's the designer. So, friends. Uh, <laughs> freaking friends. If, if 
Tesla goes down because of this, it's going to be all on him. Friggin' designers. <laughs> Please, let it be a troll. Yeah, I want the ATV, keep that truck. Sorry about your basement. I do think perhaps Elon cut a short over the glass. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Uh, I think... I think I'm I'm getting uh, I think I'm getting my Rivian. That's just that's just what's gonna happen here. Um, yeah. And if not, you know, I'm getting the uh, the Bollinger. I guess that's it, guys. I'm gonna go. I know there's a lot of you guys more than I've ever had in any live stream. There's three thousand of you guys watching. That's crazy. But I it's late and I gotta go. Uh, I'm super busy building my own electric car and it's uh, t for me it's cool right but you guys might be laughing at me because it's that you know that minivan <laughs> essentially uh, but yeah I gotta finish it because I am gonna be at the live uh, fully charged live in Texas in February and that means that I have to finish I have to learn how to paint the car and I have to paint my car and then I have to put it all back together and has to be presentable so that and then I have to tow it to to Texas all that while I have to prepare some kind of like presentation because there's gonna be many of you guys there uh, on a stage and so that's what I have to do so I, I'm a hundred percent of my time is devoted to that from here on forward right I mean I have a couple of commitments but pretty much even videos I haven't been making videos because I'm working on that thing so I don't know what do you guys think about that one or this one? Right? I'd say, uh... I am sitting inside Bollinger Motors SUV. They have two models, they have a truck and an SUV. And let me tell you, this is pretty cool. Traditionally, I'm not a truck guy, I'm not a big car guy, but this thing is pretty amazing. Look at this roof. Look at these dashes. It seems like there's no fluff. This is a real car. Now, someone at the design team must have owned a BW bus at one point because look at these sliding windows are very reminiscent of my BW bus and even these I probably say these are bus I don't know they look a little bit different than the actual hardware that I use on mine but the design is very very similar even the little strap that goes on the door is very reminiscent of my BW bus. So here's the lowdown on Bollinger Motors B1 and B2. It's a class 3 vehicle which can support 5,000 pounds, all-wheel drive, fully electric, off-road capable, but street legal platform. Dual motors that put out 514 horsepower and 15 inch ground clearance. 49 inch wide between wheel wheels, which means that it's good for construction workers. 120 kilowatt hour battery pack for 200 mile range and an MSRP of $125,000. Now they have recently started taking reservations and you can reserve your very own for only $1,000 down. But you will have to hurry as half of the first year's production is already pre-ordered. So the big question is, should I order one? <laughs> Built-in inverter for AC power. Will you be buying one? All right, so here's the thing. Both of these trucks are coming out around the same time. I pre-order both of Rivian's trucks. And if I pre-order this, I'd say whichever comes out first, I get to keep. They're about, probably gonna be about the same price, right? So I think that's what I'm gonna do. You can pre-order online. I uh, have the link in the description down below. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. 
So, I mean, I can buy two, four Tesla trucks for what I can buy uh, one of these ones, you know? One of these Bollingers or one of these Rivians. Because Rivians are not going to start shipping the, the low-end trucks or the base models till like the very end. They're going to they're gonna do like Tesla. They're going to start shipping the fully loaded ones. So you can expect to pay over $100,000 for the, the first, you know, the trucks that they'll start delivering. So it's a crazy thing, you know. Who's going to pay so much more for cool design uh, or who's going to buy a Tesla just because it's cheap? It's so crazy that now... Tesla's offering is the cheap, is the affordable one. You just have to get used, you just, you know, you just have to get used to the styling. <laughs> I mean, if you love it, I guess you're, you're lucky. But if you don't, if you're like me, where you're like, what? Then you're weird. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this live stream. <laughs> thank you for all your support. Give a like on this video, it'll help the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll keep making videos about electric cars. Um, yeah, and you, who knows? Maybe uh, maybe I'll have a chance to test drive, you know, or buy one. Nah, no, I'll never buy one of those things. Who am I? Who am I kidding? Yeah, no, I don't.